Hi guys, I saw this challenge on the um, web scroll on Facebook group the other day asking who can create such a design for the home page. So this is the desktop view and that's the mobile view. So I decided to take it up and the challenge says she wants to only use Elementor free and free plugins. Here is my setup. This is fresh install of WordPress. All it has is the hello theme which is made by Elementor and it's free as well as the Elementor page builder and Elementor header and footer builder which is made by the team behind Astra theme that's what we're going to be using and then for the images I just have the the logo which in black and in white that's all I have on the on the page so the first step we will need to do is add the menu items so we can have a navigation menu we can use so we'll go to uh, appearance, customize, and then we'll go to menu, create a new menu, and we'll name it something like main menu or primary menu, header, add some items. We'll create all the pages we need. So the first page is the home page, followed by the services page, then the about us page, and finally the contact page so that's it publish next we have to set our home page so to because we don't have any posts so we're just going to make it a static page home page and set it as home and that's it for this step next step is time to create a layout as you can see from this design we can basically split this layout into three here will be the header with which has the home services and all the navigation menu then this is the main content which is the body and the footer so those are the three sections we're going to split it into so let's see how it goes so we'll go to pages then create the home page edit edit with elementor first step is to go to the site settings or the page settings take away title because we don't need any title then the page layout will make it elemental full width settings then style now we see is if you look at the background it's split into two there's a white and a black background to achieve this kind of effect we'll just use the linear gradient and set the location to both of them to be 50 percent so white 50 percent black 50 percent that will create this layout so let's see how it is go to linear gradient uh, we just grab our colors so here the first color is just white fffff Then the second color, let's go grab it. Okay, so it's about this. Next is to set the location, like I said, 50% for each to make it have the sharp line. For now, we see that it is not the angle we want, so let's change the angle to 90 degrees. And see now it's it looks the same so that's it for the background next step we're going to add the image we can use text if you want but we already have it as an SVG so we're going to use that instead so add a new section and then on the section add an image widget and set the image to we're going to be using the white for now it wouldn't look quite good but don't worry, we'll set, fix it up later using mix blend mode. So set the width to full width because it's an SVG, so it doesn't really matter. And set everything this to 100%. Then next on the column, we're going to take away all the patterns we don't need any pattern and on the section we're gonna make it full width and no column gap uh, vertical align make it middle and yeah that's it for this section so the next step now we'll focus on the header portion so let's exit from here exit and we're going to go to appearance and 
Elemental header and footer builder, which is the other plugin we installed. So click on it, add new. We're gonna skip this, we don't need it. We'll maybe name it site header. Set the location to header, the display condition to entire website, and then we publish. Next, edit with Elementor. So as you can see from the design, it's basically just a normal navigation menu and a hamburger menu. So the first thing we need to do is add a new section. Then within the section, we're going to add the first navigation menu. Then we'll do some styling. Let's see. This look, we disabled the breakpoint because we want it to be always visible. Because there's going to be a second menu, which will be the hamburger menu. So the first menu is just going to be always be open. Then what do we, we, let's change some settings like the typography. It was Montserrat. Transform, we're going to make it all uppercase. I think that's it for now. Then we're going to make it uh, inline auto as a width so that we can have both menu items on the same row. Next, let's just give it a class name so, in case for the future when we're going to start doing the CSS, so we'll name it, let's say, nav desktop. Save. Then add a second menu item. This one will be the hamburger menu. So layout be flyout. Let's see from the right. Oh no, let's leave it at the left. Then we change this. We give it because I think it's supposed to be a white button menu. So we're gonna change the icons so let's make it let's see for now just make it the background color i think is black no, no let's make it white no no the other way around so it'll be black and this will be white for now so let's also make it inline auto okay and center all right, so that's the first step. And let's give it this same background as the page back, back on the linear gradient to so we'll go again to the section to style gradient, give it the same colors, white and black. Location 50 and 50. The angle 90 degrees yeah so now it's not looking better but the, the text is still looking awkward but we're going to use custom CSS to fix that in a short while but for now let's just make this center aligned uh, no. okay for vertical alignment let's make it middle the column let's make it Within a line as well, middle, so everything is in the center, and then we'll continue the rest after. So, the next stage is going to be our footer. So, we're going to put the social icons within the footer. So, let's create a new template, call it main footer. To be in the footer section. Display entire website, publish. And now we're going to edit it with Elementor. All we're just going to add here is simply the social icons. We'll do most of the styling later, but first of all, we have to just get the layout, make sure the layout is okay. So, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and WhatsApp. Facebook. Instagram
Twitter and the last will be WhatsApp. Next, we're just going to give it a bit of styling, so make it circle and left alignment. Then change the colors like this. Primary color, let's say white and this one black for now. Because we'll do the same thing again. Give it a background for the section. Just for consistency. 50 degrees, no, 50%, 50 percent, 50 percent, not 540, and 90 degrees. Yeah. So that's it for now. So now let's preview it on the on the front page and see how it looks. Although I'm sure it's going to look very bad, but at least we're getting somewhere. We have the social icons. We have the logo which isn't showing properly and then we have the menu items so now we can now do the custom CSS to make everything look good for the final stage we're going to just now add the custom CSS and assign class names and IDs to the various uh, parts of the web website so first we go to customize additional CSS and paste the code here and then we'll publish it. So finally, now we just need to add some class names. Don't worry, the link, the code will be in the description below. So first of all, we'll add to the main header. Just going to add uh, to the section. We'll just add, add a section class name of header section. And to the nav menu, we we'll add an ID of for this we we'll say dd nav desktop. See, it's already getting better for the hamburger menu since it's the mobile. So we we'll do dd nav mobile, and that's it for the for the header section. Next, and let's just. I think put the background for the flyout menu. We just put the background to be black and the text I think to be white. Yeah. So next we add class names to the home page as well. So to the section, we're just going to name it hero section and the image, we'll name it hero image and see, the things are already coming together and for the footer as well, we just do the same thing just give it a class name, so appearance, header and footer Elemental for the footer section, we're just going to add the class name to the section. Uh, we add footer section, then to the icons, we add DD social. See, save it, then we check for mobile responsiveness. So, click this. Uh, from the main documentation supposed to be the center so let's make it center aligned so we go to content center for mobile save yeah that's about it so now let's preview it on the front end so uh, yeah and then yeah if we want we can reduce the size of the image as well to make it look exactly like this so probably can, can do that just now let's ex ex exit this go to the home page pages 
home and reduce the size from 100% to maybe uh, 90% yeah, save now we can test it out see this is on mobile and this is on desktop I hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any comments or any way I could make it better leave your comments below thank you